Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for the first half of your November from the 1st to the 15th. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Um, uh, you can switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Cancer, let's get started. Tell me about Cancer here. Tell me about Cancer and love. Over energies for Cancer regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for um, the first half of their November from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. Six of Cups, okay. So we have someone here that's missing somebody, missing an X here, Four of Cups. We have someone here that's missing an X here. I, I feel like there's an energy of someone here is wishing that things turned out differently here, okay? Um, let's see what else we have. We have the Nine of Swords, we have the Page of Cups here. Someone here is coming back in with some sort of an apology. You could be waiting for an apology from somebody here, okay? Whoever, whoever this, is this is weighing very heavily on someone's heart and emotions here okay could be dealing with another cancer whoever this person is this is an individual that might have dropped the ball here a few times okay or maybe the fish um and i feel like this person's like nervously coming back towards you okay uh because i i feel like this person maybe feels that you would reject them or something like that this person also could be younger than you or that they're, they're just emotionally immature. Okay, the Knight of Cups here and the Seven of Swords. One of the things I feel like this person's trying to lie their way back into your life. I don't know, maybe they're trying to make up excuses. Maybe they're trying to fabricate some sort of story here as to why they dropped the ball here or why they messed up here. Okay, tell me about the Six of Cups. Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So we have someone here that's trying to come in to clear things up here with you. I do feel like this person misses ha a being with you, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like this person, you know, misses the idea of happily, having happily ever after here with you. But I'm not quite sure what this person did. Uh, uh, yeah, it seems like this person really betrayed you here. Uh, you know, I feel like this per person betrayed you with lies, I feel. One of the things I'm getting here is that your guides and your ancestors were actually dropping signs right in front of you. And I feel like you were noticing it, okay? But I, 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 one of the things I, I felt like you were sort of like waiting for it to play out. We have the Ace of Cups here, the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I do feel like this person does care about you and love you, but um, I feel like when it comes down to it, I feel like this person is very immature. I feel, I, I feel like this person still parties like a frat boy or a sorority girl or something like that. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I feel like this person could lie about little things like, you know, you could ask this person, oh, like, what did you do last night? They tell you they didn't go out, but then later you find out that this person did go out because you're looking at the Instagram stories, you know, little things like that. Uh, Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the person that um, Cancer is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Cancer for uh, the first half of their November from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. Ooh. 
three of pentacles here, queen of pentacles, five of pentacles, ace of wands, the five of wands, and the six of pentacles. Okay, so three of pentacles and the queen of, uh, three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. You don't want to work things out with this person. Yeah, five of pentacles and the ace of wands. You know, I feel like the rejection is hurting this person pretty hard here. Uh, because I feel like this person has trouble being alone, okay? Um, five of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel like this person might be really pissed off or that this person might be coming in to argue and fight with you in order for you, in order for you to get, in order to, to get you to take them back or something like that. You know, some other people might be stepping in and talking on this person's behalf, trying to vouch for them or something like that. Or make excuses. Oh, you know, this, this and that has been going through this. You know, give them a chance or something like that. Um, let's see. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles here. Eight of Swords, uh, Queen of Pentacles, and Justice. You know, I feel like you learned your lesson here. We have someone here that's really fearful that you won't give them an opportunity to show you that they could do do better or do differently here. Uh, Libra energy with the Justice card, the Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles, the Death card, Scorpio energy here, and the Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Nine of Cups, the uh, Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio energy with the Death card here, the Nine of Cups, Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles here. You know, one of the things is I feel like this person, you know, could come off as someone who, who's very miserable here. You know, and I feel, I feel like this person sees you as this like really, really, really happy person. And I feel like this person's trying to take that away from you by, you know, really sort of like pulling your energy down to their level. But I feel like you're not letting that happen. Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Yeah, I mean, you could have your back turned to this individual. They could be obsessively trying to communicate with you or stalk you, but I just feel like you're not paying any attention to this person, okay? Outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding their love situation. What else does Cancer need to know? First half of their November from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. We have the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. We have the Lovers here and the Three of Cups. We have the Five of Swords here and the Sun. Cancer, you're putting yourself first. I mean, could be a situation moving forward that you have a lot on your plate, okay? You could be going out there and meeting new people, dating people here, looking for a potential new mate, okay? But with the Five of Swords, you know, I just feel like you're putting yourself first and putting your happiness first, okay? Could be a situation that, you know, this person can't stand it. Yeah, I mean, they're nervously trying to come towards you because they know what you're going to do, basically, is reject them. The Sun, Leo energy, the Lovers, Gemini energy, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, and a Ten of Wands. So, you know, this could be an indication that you're taking some time out to heal. I, I, you know, some of you, some of you guys might have gone as, uh, you know, gone as far as, you know, maybe stooping down to their level and being petty here. But, you know, I feel like at this point you're, you're realizing that it might not be worth it. Okay. Um, Gemini, uh, the lovers, strength, three of cups and the king of pentacles here. There could be someone here that's coming towards you where you have a strong connection with this person. This person might, is more mature. This person has their shit together here. Um, you know, I do feel like there's someone out there. And yeah, this person might come towards you unexpectedly. But with the tower, uh, you know, it's sort of like this was a blessing in disguise here. Yeah. And, and like I said, you're putting yourself first and you're just allowing the process to work itself out here. But, you know, we have someone here that could it be coming to a realization that they lost someone here that was really, really, really great. And, you know, they want to fix things here with you. But like I said, I just feel like you don't want to do that here, Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comments section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.